Congratulations to the New York Knicks who finally won something yesterday. But even when you win, you still manage to lose. Yesterday, the judge ruled in favor of the New York Knicks and James Dolan and dismissed Charles Oakley's legal claims against the team. So you might ask me, Ryan, how did the Knicks lose here? Because this whole thing happened in the first place. This was one of the worst things that has happened to the New York Knicks in the past 10 years. And that says a lot considering the, the amount of terrible trades, the amount of terrible contracts this team has taken on. Who the hell would want to sign with the New York Knicks after you threw out a Knicks legend? The guy who left it all on the court, the guy that put his blood, sweat, and tears into the organization, the guy that was part of the 1990 Knicks, the team that actually made you proud to wear this jersey. They played defense, they left it all on the court every single night, and they were in the 1994 NBA Finals Took it to seven games where they lost to the Houston Rockets and Akeem Olajuwon. James Dolan says after this situation that he hoped that there can be peace between both sides. But I doubt that, especially considering that Charles Oakley was seen with Kevin Durant just a few days before he signed with the Brooklyn Nets. I get out of work today and I have to talk about the New York Knicks being dysfunctional. I mean, what else is new? I mean, there's nothing more embarrassing than being a Knicks fan right now. You see that PR release? It looks like a seventh grader wrote that shit. Are you kidding me? Laughable. Laughable. Spike Lee responds and says, you're laughable. You're the joke of all sports, not just the NBA. And I agree 100% with Spike Lee. Who am I going to believe, James Dolan or Spike Lee? You know, it, in, instead of celebrating the fact that some of the young New York Knicks like R.J. Barrett and Mitchell Robinson are playing phenomenal and we beat the Houston Rockets, no, I got to talk about the New York Knicks being dysfunctional, another reason why no one's going to want to come here. You know, it, it, it's just time and time and time and time again. It's just the same freaking movie that I'm watching every single day. You finally think you could see a little crack, a little crack of light, and it just turns to darkness. Spike Lee doesn't even want to go to a game anymore. Who are they going to kick out next? Me? You got Charles Oakley. You got Spike Lee. You're going to kick out that and why kid next? I mean, it already has happened. That story's coming at 1,000 followers if we ever hit it. Stay tuned for that, boys. <laughs> this is your boy, Ryan. Peace.